The latest Pixel phones have a really cool feature where the now playing card just shows up on your lock screen and it's always listening and looking for new music playing around you whether it's on a TV or on a radio nearby and you can simply just turn on your lock screen and see the song that is being played. Ambient Music Mod is an application that does this on all Android devices. You don't need root access for it. All you need to do is make sure that you have Shizuku installed and up and running on your phone. And yeah, you just need to install the Shizuku app, install this application from the link in the description below. And once you have that done, just turn on identify songs nearby and follow the necessary steps and there you go. Now every time a music or some song is playing near you, it will show you which song is that on your lock screen as well as inside the application if you want to do it that way. Ambient Music Mod is a really cool app which is not available on the Play Store but you can install it from the link in the description below. And in today's video, I've got 9 more applications like this making it a list of 10 Android apps that are not on the Play Store but are regardless of that ones that you should definitely check out. If this video interests you, ladies and gentlemen, this is Anubhav back again with another app video. I have a feeling this one is gonna really, really excite you guys. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let's not waste any time and let's get started. All right, guys, at number two, we've got an application called Anything to Picture in Picture. And as the name suggests, this is an application which has very two simple things that it does. You download it, open up the application, you'll have two options, either to show a photo or a video from your gallery in Picture in Picture, or to view a YouTube video in picture in picture. Now, not only can you use this to show a video that you have downloaded on your phone or a photo in a PIP mode, but you can also use it to play YouTube videos in a picture in picture mode, even if you don't have YouTube premium. This is really, really cool considering the fact that Android phones have a lot of customization and multitasking capabilities. And with this, you can have a video being played around in the background on your phone screen. You can resize it, move it around, place it wherever you want and do something else like browse Twitter or Reddit or any other application. It's a really cool one and I would recommend you guys to definitely check it out. At number three, we've got an application called Droidify. And as the name suggests, this is an application which is just an open source alternative to F-Droid. Now we all know and love F-Droid because it is the one best place where you can find a lot of open source applications that are not only great when it comes to functionality, but they're also, you know, free, they don't have ads and you actually don't have to worry about your privacy with them. But the fact of the matter is that the UI of F-Droid is still a little wonky and it just looks really, really old and something that was made in 2010. Because of this, there are app alternatives to F-Droid and Droidify is one of them. Now it follows the latest material design UI and UX elements and I really, really like the way it looks. Once you open it, you've got three categories, explore, installed and updates and over here, here, you can find the same applications that you can do in F-Droid in just a more stylish and smoother way. So if you're looking for a replacement for your F-Droid App Store, Droidify is one that you should definitely consider. With that said guys, at number 4 we've got Ice Raven and no this has nothing to do with Mozilla but it is based on the Mozilla Firefox Android application which basically means that this is a browser replacement app. Well, what is special about a browser replacement app, Anubhav? If that is what your question is, then you'll be pleasantly surprised to know that if you go to the add-on section in this application, there are just so many more add-ons that you can use in this that are not even supported in the official Mozilla Firefox app for Android. Stuff like Ad Blocker Ultimate, Video Downloader, Dark Reader, Ad Guard Blocker, Privacy Ad Blocker, there are just so many of them. It goes on and on and on lets you use all of your favorite trackers and add-ons that you can use with Mozilla on, you know, maybe your desktop, but doesn't allow it on your phone. Ice Raven is an application that you can do that with. And once again, it's unfortunately one of those apps that are not available on the Play Store. But hey, don't worry about it. Check it out from the link in the description below. Next up, guys, we've got another App Store replacement called Neo Store. And you know, sometimes I faced a little bit of crashes with uh, the Droidify Store, which is the F-Droid Store that I talked to you about, that I spoke to you about. And Neo Store is also the same thing. So this is also an F-Droid alternative for, you know, your Android phone. However, this is an application that just feels a little well made, a little better made than Droidify 2 in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's it's really, really nice. It's got a lot of categories that you can also cycle through. It's got a lot of applications. Again, the same thing, you can view your recently updated applications, your installed applications. 
and it's just a great app store alternative to have to F-Droid. So two of these are my picks. You can choose Droidify or this one. Whichever works better on your device is obviously the one you should keep. But I have demonstrated both of them to you guys so you can make your own decision. With that said, the next application is called Open Reads, and this has to be one of the most no-nonsense creative applications I have ever seen. Now, if you're a person who reads books, especially as much as I do, and you know want to keep a track of all the books that you have read, then this application is truly amazing. You download the app, there are no ads, all you have to do is add the books that you have read. So there are three categories, finished, in progress and for later you can add books in all of these categories simply click on the plus button you can either add the book manually by typing everything in yourself or and this is a feature that i really really like you can scan the barcode of the book and it just automatically selects everything for you inputs all the information then you can just add it now i'm going to be using this a lot to just log in for all the books that i have read so that i have a list of books either to recommend or just remember that oh i've read these books this is an application which is a must-have app for every single reader out there and if you are one of them then i think you should download it with that said guys the next application is called screenshot tile and the best part about this app is that it does not require root access now most android smartphones already have a screenshot tile and a screen record tile on your notification tray but if you do not have it on your phone then this is an application with which you can add that basically as a shortcut on your notification bar and on your quick settings bar. So you've had the screenshot bar over here and you can just click on it and it will take a screenshot obviously. Now make sure you use a different method depending on what you use. The app recommends that if you have a latest phone which is a relatively newer phone use the native method and not the legacy method because the legacy method is going to give you uh, you know a prompt before taking any single screenshot which gets annoying after a while. So if you have a newer phone, make sure you use the native method and not the legacy method and then it will work just as expected. With that said guys, next up we've got an application called Seal. And Seal is a really really cool application because it just lets you download everything on your phone. So all you need to do if you want to ever download an audio or a video or anything really is to open up and copy the link of that particular video. For example, let's go to my channel and let's just copy a link for me to demonstrate it to you guys. All I have to do is go ahead and copy the link. And once the link is copied, I'm going to go ahead and paste the link inside Seal. Now, once that is done, hit on done. And of course, now you have the options. You can save it as an audio. You can download the playlist, download subtitles, save thumbnails, etc, etc the best quality or a particular resolution, the video format. And once that is done, just hit on download and it's going to start downloading the video. It's a really cool app for you to download videos that you see on the internet. And I would really, really recommend anybody who wants an application like this. With that said, guys, we're coming to the last two applications on the list. And these are the best ones, if you'll hear me out. First up, we've got Stealth. Stealth is an amazing Reddit client that I recently found where, you know, it takes, as the name suggests, it's called Stealth. So it takes privacy into concern. So you don't have to log in. You don't have to create an account for you to access different subreddits. You don't have to do anything, basically. You have access to the entire Reddit uh, place out here. And all you have to do is just use and download this application. No account information needs to be entered or shared. This takes care of your privacy and number two, I really love the design. It's got this glass neomorphism sort of a theme and uh, yeah, it just looks really, really good. One thing that can seem a bit confusing for you is that once you go to your subscriptions, you won't really be able to, you know, find how to subscribe to a subreddit. So make sure you just search for the subreddit and then swipe right on the side. And once you do that, you'll be able to go ahead and, you know, subscribe to the subreddit. So keep that in mind took me a while to figure it out actually i couldn't figure out how do i okay how do i subscribe to a subreddit but that's how you do it other than that it's a great reddit replacement application i really like it it's you know it's free doesn't have ads especially don't need to enter account details just to find a little bit of information on reddit highly highly recommend next up guys last but not the least we've got v music and I really, really like this application. Number one, because this is like YouTube music, but without logging in. So you don't need to enter any information or create an account just to listen to some music. You can, you know, listen to music from all over the world. As I said, it's like YouTube music. You can go to playlists, artists, albums, listen to whatever you want, go to settings, change the theme, etc., etc. Uh, the only thing that you cannot do is obviously download songs onto your phone's storage or your internal storage. But other than 
than that if you need a free no nonsense music streaming application that you can use to listen to music without creating an account without paying any subscription fees without hearing ads view music is definitely something that you should consider and with that said ladies and gentlemen these were 10 android applications that are not available on the play store i really really hope that these apps become helpful to you guys i'm planning a lot more content around secret apps and you know apps like this which are not on the play store or open source applications so make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications because it really helps the channel grow i'm trying to get to 300k as soon as possible so if you hit on that like button it will genuinely help me out with that said ladies and gentlemen this is anvab signing out i'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe i love all of you bye bye